Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing 10 tips to help you have the best possible visit to the Blue Lagoon here in Iceland. Number one, book ahead. I don't think that they let you just turn up and you can go in, so make sure that you have gone online, booked this time slot that works for your itinerary. We spent about an hour and a half to two hours in the lagoon, and I would say that two hours is a really good amount of time to be there and be showered and enjoy everything. Two, it's only 20 minutes from Keflavik Airport, so if you are doing a stopover, you can probably add this into your stop. It's also the perfect way to start or end your trip because it's so near the airport. Three, if you want pictures with the Blue Lagoon, the colours, the landscape, there is a, a kind of park area to the left hand side of the entrance door. So when you parked or you got off of the coach, you walk down the path through the lava, you come up to the building where it says entrance and you turn left of there and walk all the way around until you get to the kind of mossy area where you really see the contrast, the green moss, the black lava and the white and blue of the Blue Lagoon. It's a really cool place to have a little wander around before or after your visit and just take in the landscape and the colours. There's a lot of people who are going to want to take their phone or their camera into the lagoon to take some pictures. So beforehand, order on Amazon or pick up wherever a bag that's watertight and waterproof for your phone to be in just in case you have any accidents you don't want to damage your phone just as you arrive in Iceland. Four, the silica and other minerals that are in the water can tarnish or discolour different metals. So if you're wearing silver jewellery, for instance, it will probably go slightly black. It does wash off over time, but it's advised just to leave your jewellery off. And that includes your glasses. You don't really need to see necessarily in the Blue Lagoon, so just leave your glasses off. Five, take a massive handful of conditioner and whack it into your hair because your hair is going to get dry and frizzy by the end of your experience there. Try to tie your hair up as well so it doesn't get wet. Use the conditioner that they have available for you in the showers. Six, the mask and drink is actually included in your price and you redeem them from inside the lagoon. So you get the mask and the drink from two separate bars. The mask is probably where everyone is wearing masks um, and the drink is over by the main building where you'll see everyone chilling out with a drink. You go over to the mask bar and the person there will give you a kind of ladle full into your hand of a white muddy consistency and that's the silica and it's very cleansing for your skin. So pop that all over your face, swim around until it gets really um, hard on your skin and then you can just wash it off in the water. And the drinks bar is over by the main building, you'll see everyone with a drink over there. Um, and they have a variety of different drinks from smoothies and fruit juices to uh, I think a couple of mocktails, there's beer, sparkling wine and yeah a good few options. Swim around the pool, take your time and enjoy the whole experience. You've got the waterfall shower which is really great to stand under and get a massage on your shoulders. There's the steam and the sauna, there's the cave if you need to go and get some shelter from rain or whatever. Um, but yeah, just swim around and enjoy it all. Now that they've made it bigger, there's more areas to go and find a little quiet corner for yourself just to enjoy it. Eight, now this might kind of be a strange one. I personally wear a hat when I'm in hot pills in this country. Um, I think that it's only sensible. Maybe not so much in the Blue Lagoon because you might look like a bit of an idiot, but I don't care. I want to keep my head warm, so if you also want to do that and make sure you don't get a cold if it is really, really cold when you visit. The other thing is, it's kind of a bit gross, but think about the amount of people that are visiting there. You might want to put some flip-flops on your feet just to protect those toes. Number nine, it can be really dehydrating. A lot of different salts and minerals in the water. It's warm or hot <laughs> um, and you're going to be in it for a couple of hours. So make sure that you drink lots of water beforehand and afterwards, especially if you're heading to the airport to go on a flight and bring a snack if you don't want to go and spend extra money at the cafe or restaurant because you're going to be hungry after it. Number 10, it's definitely not an essential, but we did it just because we could. We brought a spare towel because everyone at the Blue Lagoon has the exact same white matching Blue Lagoon towel. Wherever you've hung it up, it's probably not going to be there or someone's used it or whatever. So bring your own towel so that you've got a nice fresh one to dry yourself with. And that's it. 
So there we go, my top 10 tips for visiting the Blue Lagoon. Hopefully they've helped you and I really hope that you enjoy your visit to the Blue Lagoon. Let me know if you have been or are planning to go in the comments down below and I will see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching, bye!